Let's begin with the first step, suits and tuxedos. As a Wall Street guy, Patrick Bateman frequently dons tailored garments by Valentino Couture. In the movie, he wears a classic charcoal pinstripe double-breasted suit with exaggerated shoulders and generously sized notch lapels. Double-breasted tuxedos were all the rage in the 30s, and the Valentino black dinner jacket worn by Bale on screen is a perfect example. It features a six-on-two button double-breasted front and sweeping satin peak lapels that create a broad visual impact across his chest. Yes, in principle, if you have aesthetic body shape, you can buy ready-made suits. But ideally, you need a good tailor, because the suit should fit flawlessly. Patrick prefers timeless colors such as charcoal gray, navy, and of course black. Keep in mind that the materials must be strictly premium quality. Also, in order for the suit to fit perfectly on you, you definitely need to train at least twice a week. While the movie showcased only a few scenes of Bateman's core routine, but what about the rest of the muscle groups? Soon I will release a detailed workout split and diet plan, specifically designed to help you achieve an aesthetic body akin to Patrick Bateman's. It will be available on my Patreon in a few days. Guys, I encourage all of you to become part of my Patreon community. There you will find truly valuable premium content in the form of eBooks written by me on skincare and wardrobe, training programs for gaining mass and weight loss, exclusive videos and podcasts, private one-on-one -on -one chat where I will personally answer your questions and more. Also, you can easily recoup the cost of subscription thanks to selected sale packs from various online stores. For example, the recent list featured brands such as Tom Ford and Brunello Cuccinelli with 60% off, and the total sale amount was over $3,500. And as a free bonus for seven days, you can download my first book, How to Glow Up. Join right now, the offer is limited. Link in the description. The second step to achieving the style of Patrick Bateman is to have a collection of classic dress shirts. Choose crisp shirts made of fine cotton. Look for shirts with spread or point collars and pair them with French cuffs. Enhance the look with cufflinks for a refined touch. Remember, shirts are considered expendable items for men, similar to t-shirts, so there's no need to splurge on excessively expensive ones. Instead, choose textured shirts that maintain their crispness and can be worn both with a suit or separately. Just like with suits, pay attention to the presence of stripes on the shirt. The classic Bateman shirt is one with bold pinstripes and a white cutaway collar. He even provides fashion advice on how to wear them without making a fashion mistake. This kind of shirt will add a touch of old school atmosphere from the 80s to your outfit. Additionally, a white collar with a blue body is also suitable. The key is to keep your shirts clean. If you wear them frequently, wash them every two wears and ensure you have multiple shirts in your wardrobe for rotation. Be meticulous and avoid venturing out with a wrinkled or soiled shirt. What is missing in a good suit and shirt? Of course, a chic tie. Patrick Bateman often sports bold, colorful ties. The repeating pattern tie, which probably comes from Hermes, and he probably knows that, is always present, and he never wears the same one twice. Opt for patterns like stripes, geometric designs, or even paisley. Choose expensive ties with a substantial knot and let them stand out against your shirt and suit. And now we move on to shoes. I'll be brief here. It is easy to see that Patrick, to the extent of his profession and impeccable taste, preferred the timeless classic pairs. Get pure leather Oxfords and brogues. Cheap shoes will simply destroy your entire outfit. The quality of pairs must be impeccable. The coat. Setting aside the sinister undertones, the recurring presence of black gloves adds a nice touch. However, what truly sets Bateman apart and adds to his commanding presence is his choice of outerwear. Whether it's black or camel, his coats are always flawlessly minimalist, featuring wide lapels. Guys, take note, there's no better way to exude handsomeness than by wearing a fantastic coat. Whether it's double-breasted or single-buttoned is inconsequential. Both styles have Bateman's seal of approval. More reminiscent of a bouncer than a banker, the strong-shouldered overcoat was, and still is, a statement of seriousness and determination, an ultimate power move and a perfect embodiment of the opulence and rigid style that defined Wall Street workers. Finally, let's talk about accessories. Round spectacles are crafted from an acetate material resembling tortoise shell, featuring streaks of semi-translucent amber and opaque dark brown. The O'Malley frame itself embodies a quintessential 50s shape, with a relatively slim profile and a traditional keyhole nose bridge. Complementing Bateman's tailored suits, power ties, and two-tone timepiece, these glasses perfectly enhance his meticulously groomed aesthetic. Furthermore, during the scene where Patrick invites his colleague Jean to dinner, he casually lounges on his office couch sporting the iconic black Ray-Ban Wayfarers. 
As for watches, Bateman proudly wears a Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date, just with a Jubilee bracelet, exuding both elegance and sophistication. From